Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Richard here, and welcome to my Darox uh, PKing guide. Um, in this guide, I'll show you guys how to PK with the Darox set and how to make proper proper uh, profit per hour. You know. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys some example clips and just give you some general tips on how to uh, get good at Darox PKing. Um, so to start things off, what is Darox? Derek P. King, like in general. Um, Derek P. King is basically when you wear this item set called the Derek's armor set. It consists of uh, the plate legs, the plate body, and the helm. And uh, the axe that I'm wearing right now, it's called the Derek's Great Axe. Um, simply put, when you wear this armor, it makes it so that if you're lower HP, you deal more damage, right? Like with the axe, only with the axe. So, say for example, if you were to attack somebody with the axe, right, and you're at like full HP like this, you won't deal like any damage. Like you will deal like 30 damage or so, like very little, you know. But if you're like very low HP, like 10 HP, and you like hit them with the axe, then you can hit like up to a 90. I swear, like bro, you can like stack people hell out with this uh, axe. It's very OP. Um, now to the question of why you should like learn to Darok PK, it's um, a lot of fun. It's very fun to DHPK, you know, the fights also last a bit longer, so you have more of a chance to, like, um, you know, get, get your opponent. And other than that, it's just a good profit per hour. Uh, for every DH that you PK, you get, like, 7.5. Uh, no, I mean, like, 2.7 mil, you know. So if you're pretty, if you get good at Derek PKing, you can get, like, a lot of GP per hour. Alright, so I have some items in my inventory right now, right? Um, I'll show you guys the basic setups that people bring for DHing, right? So let me put the Gmail and the Tentacle Whip away. So this is the first setup that you're gonna be um, seeing a lot in the PvP worlds, and it's with a Dragon Scimitar, right? Um, so you have the DH set with a Dragon Scimitar and a Dragon Defender, and all you bring is a Derek's Great Axe and an Armadale Godsword. So this makes it so when you protect item, you will drop the entire Darok set with the axe, but you will keep your AGS, right? Um, bringing a Gmall is optional for this setup, but I recommend you just bring the axe with the AGS. Right, so that's the first setup, right? So all you're gonna bring is uh, an axe and uh, a Godsword. Right, so for the next setup, the Godsword gets taken away. And instead, we bring a Tentacle Whip. So this is gonna be your PK setup. So imagine the Scimitar and the AGS are not here. This is what you're gonna be bringing. So you're gonna be bringing your Gmall, right? So you can like um, whip into a double maul or just random double maul into like a, a great axe, right? This is all you're gonna be bringing because uh, with this setup, you deal more DPS, I would say, you know, like the whip hits higher than the Scimitar, of course, and it's more accurate. And you you can make some pretty cool outplays with the, with the Gmall and the axe. And uh, yeah, other than that, um, for the gear that you really need, like just in general, the H set, you know, the X. Other than that, um, everybody like brings Barrow's gloves. Nobody brings anything else. Everybody also also usually just wears dragon boots, uh, you know, unless you're like a risk fighter or some shit. Um, other than that, just bring a ring of recall, you know, it deals the damage over time. It's pretty nice. Um, and yeah, a fire cape. Um, for the ring. Uh, I mean, for the like amulet slot, um, it can differ, right? So most people bring a, a amulet of strength or an amulet of glory, but what I recommend you guys to bring is a amulet of the damned. Uh, this costs like 33k. It's like 20k more than a glory, but it has a special effect where there's a 25 chance, like 25% chance that if somebody damages you, it will act like vengeance, right? So you know the spell vengeance. Um, Oh, I cannot even cast it in uh, the POH, what the fuck. But yeah, uh, you know, Vengeance, it does, like, if somebody hits you, they take damage back, like, because they hit you, right? So, with that, you can actually pretty, like, you have a pretty good chance at dealing extra damage, you know, like, extra 15% damage. There's a 25% chance that you get a free Vengeance, like, a mini Venge, basically, right? And only for 30k, so I would say bring it. It also has the same stats as a Glory, if I'm correct, like, you know, like, it's very good. Right, so... That's the basics for what you need to bring. So it's either a Scimitar, AGS, and Axe, right? Or you can go for a little bit more of the cheap setup. And if you're also like pretty good, you can just bring the Axe and the Gmall with a whip. 
But if you're really good, you know, you can always just, like, have your inventory like this, where you bring a GMO, an AGS, and an Axe. You know, like, just, you know, check what's nice for you, check what's within your budget, and you should be good to go. Alright, so now I'm gonna, um, uh, get you guys, uh, show you guys some clips, basically, and, yeah, we're just gonna, I'm gonna talk over it while uh, I PK, and I'll give you some tips. Alright. Alright, guys, this is the first, uh, fight of the video. So we're gonna be first using the AGS and Skimitar setup. So GL to this guy, good luck. Um, let's find a place where there aren't a lot of people like uh, standing in the way. Okay. All right, first thing you will see is a thing that most Darkers will use is the Retribution uh, Prayer. Because it has a chance, you know, like if you die, you will just um, take your enemy along with you, which is always nice, you know. Uh, that's AGS back here. Could have been the kill. Um, I saved a bit. So let me take off my armor so he can hit me. Right. Um, the basics of the HPK. Let me see. So I would say first just um, get through both players using their specs. So he will AGS and I will AGS, right? Like till we are at like... Okay, right. He used both his specs. No chance. And uh, now all he has to, all he can use is basically the Darrow's Axe. And now I can only use the Darrow's Axe, right? So this is where the actual DHing starts. So we both have our prayers up, you know. I would say I have, the, I have the advantage because I have the Amulet of the Damned. So I would hit a bit harder. Or I, would, I have a chance of like uh, dealing extra damage back. Okay, right. So when both are DHing, you just want to keep your HP at around 73. You don't, you don't want it to be at over 80 at least. Right. Okay. So at the moment it's his pit. See, look, his hits show up first. My hit takes a while to process. You see, like my skimitar's in the air, and it takes a bit for it to hit. Okay. Right. So we're both just hitting. He's vanished at the moment. You know, just gonna look out for exp drop and eat. Okay. There, there is a chance that he can hit the seventy three, right? Because he he makes himself lower HP because I hit his vanish, and then he can hit higher. But. I would say, like, you're really tanky, right? Like, it, it, it almost never hits that high. Let's bench and X here. Okay, we eat the summer pie, so we keep our HP at, uh, like, 73, you know? We have a little thresh threshold, uh, basically. I didn't see an EXP drop. If I saw an EXP drop, I would eat the, a Karam Bond as well. Alright, so he's bench right now, so let's play it a bit safe. Okay. Alright, let's eat a Karam Bond here. The axis. Okay, we broke his bench. That's good. We have our bench, so at the moment we have the advantage here. Oh, he also has bench up. Bench here. Ooh, could have been the kill. Um, let's X here. Right, he ate to 77, which is okay. He, he just um, super combated, like divine um, combated to down um, his HP, which is actually pretty nice of him, you know. Show our axe. Okay. Let's hit him here. We almost have our spec again, you see, like the, these fights take actually like quite a bit of time. So you have a lot of time to... Um... Oh, broke my bench. But yeah, you have a lot of time to like think about what move you're, you want to do and stuff. Single eat here, and we can axe after instantly, if I'm correct. Alright. Okay, we're at low HP, let's axe and then teleport away. Right, so if you do not have any triple eats anymore, you just uh, want to axe and then teleport out. Because then the hit will hit him, so you can hit, like, say for example if you're like 10 HP, right? At the moment I was 26 HP, okay? If I were to axe him... <clears throat> I can hit really high, right? But he's Venge, so you might think, why would you hit him on his Venge? If you teleport tap, like on the right timing, after you X, or even with a, a, a GS whack, you know, or a whip hit, anything, then the damage of your hit will go through, but the Venge won't hit you. So you can just basically get in a free X, like to hit a 90 or something, and you can teleport out. Which is really fucking nice, actually. But yeah, in the fight, what you saw, you know, both players, we just utilized our specs first, and then after that, um, we just X X'd it out basically, you know. You just gotta stay at a certain HP, look for whose pit it is, check your EXP, e EXP drops in, you should be good to go. 
let's on, move on to the next fight. I'll grab, uh, for the next fight, I'll grab the Gmall Whip combo. So we won't be having an, an AGS in uh, that video uh, clip. Alright guys, so I got a fight with Mr. J Newman over here. Good luck to him. Alright, so this time, as you can see, we're not bringing out the AGS. Instead, we're using uh, a Whip and a Gmall. Um, the advantage of this uh, over the AGS is that it hits way higher. At least, like, your, your whip hits higher than the Scimitar, right? It's more accurate. Which means you have, like, a lot more DPS um, over time. Uh, at the moment, he's still Venge, so let's try and break it. Nice. Very good. We have our own Venge, so let's Venge here. Okay. Ooh, could have been the kill. And he hit on the Venge. Let's Axe here. Oh. He ate 284, I wouldn't have hit it anyway. Right, so I don't have my spec anymore. Um, he still has his spec. He can double maul um, into an axe or just single maul if he wants to. Let's try to break his venge. Right, actually, axing on uh, such high HP isn't all too good of me, but. Um, just try to axe when you're lower HP, like right here. Okay, no hit. Right here, maybe. Ooh, that's a good move. Um, all right, we're low HP. Um, we we tripled it, right? But um, I was thinking uh, maybe I would have have had the first hit. Like right there, you see, I, I had the first hit, so he basically got chance because I axed him at 44 HP. I'm still Venged, so... Let's X. Potential. He's gonna break my Venge right now. No. Okay, let's just triple eat here, because he's gonna X. Um, if anybody, like, like if somebody runs away like that mid-fight, you don't want to chase them. Like, it's a one-way ticket to get yourself, like, one hit. And there we go. Good fight, brother. So what did we do during the fight? We just utilized our bench and this guy, he was predominantly more busy with like running around instead of actually like looking for the proper moment, right? When to get your opponent. Um, earlier he did uh, did do a, a double maul, right? But he hit the zero zero. So if I see uh, um, like that he did damage on the maul, right? Um, if I saw he did damage on the maul, I would just uh, triple it like faster, but because I don't see like any um, hits hit splats on the G ball, um, I can most likely just um, axe afterwards, right? And it, it has potential that I kill him then because he will lower me. Um, but yeah, the main thing you want to do is just watch your opponent. Like right there, he just um, kept attacking instead of actually like trying to get a, a proper hit in with the the Darox axe. Like each time you saw you saw him, right? Like it was my pit, so my hit splat shows up first. He still attacked me first. You don't. You don't ever want to do that. That's not good. Um, but yeah, like um, if you get a kill in DH, uh, let me actually check. So if you get a kill in DH, right? It's li it's literally like let me check. Oh, oh. yeah. See, it's like three point two mil PK just like that. And this dude even had dragon javelins on him. Like what the fuck? <laughs> but yeah, like that's just three point two mil PK. And uh, yeah, I would say a pretty easy. In a pretty easy way myself, right? You know? <laughs> Alright, but um, let's move on to the next fight. Alright guys, so we got a fight with Mr. J Newman here again. Um, good luck to him. Alright, so at the moment he's benched. Uh, we saved up a little bit, but let's just say my bad. Um, he also ate to 91, which is alright, you know? Like, if anyone eat, like if you, if you save, like, sometimes it's okay, man. Like, really don't worry too much about it. Right, so at the moment it's our pit, so we can do a lot more than he can. Um, right there, I should have actually double mauled, or I should have like uh, G mauled into an AGS spec. But yeah, I didn't really do it, you know. Like, <laughs> I guess being a little bit lazy. Right, right now he's benched. Um, let's just okay. Let's wait for him to attack us first. It's his pit. Okay, cram one. Hit. Let's bench here. Still not our pit, so we cannot really be all too aggressive. 
I don't think he has an AGS, so he cannot really... He's more reliant on his uh, whip double maul. Okay, click the ground each time. Double eat it. And single eat it. Um, I would say he most likely chanced me on the axe, but the chance of him hitting it is like, pretty low, actually. Right, so right now he doesn't have spec, and we do. Let's bait him here. Bench. Alright. I'm gonna actually put the AGS away for now. Ooh, very big chance. You wanna know why I went for the double maul? If you see a big EXP drop, you want to axe right at, uh, or, or like double maul right after. You have a very big chance of killing him. You see it also pit swapped, right? So, so right now it's my pit, you see. So I saw the pit swap happen. You gotta look for the zeros, you see? See, so you, so you gotta look whose pit it is. My, it's my pit, you see? I hit him and it's in, it instantly shows up. He hits me and it doesn't show up. It takes quite a bit to load. But yeah, so I saw a pit swap and I saw I hit very high on the pit swap, so. That, that's the perfect time to double maul and like do an extra AGS whack afterwards. Alright. Um, we have a one triple eat and a double eat over. So we can like um, pie into a brew and then triple. Okay, let's wait here. An axe. Potential. So right now it's his pit, you see it pit swapped, it, 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 it took a while for my act, and it just pit swapped again, so right now it's my pit again. You know, like pit swaps happen uh, like a lot, basically. Okay. He ate up quite high. Double eat here. Alright, so let's wait for him to hit and then we're just gonna axe afterwards. He still has his. Let's brew, super restore, and then super combat. We don't have any food left, right? All right, let's get our tap close. Oh, I should have tanked it, I should have tanked it, but no, I shouldn't have tanked it, right? Because he would have tapped right afterwards. So, you know, we actually we didn't really get a chance to kill him at the end there, but um, at least we didn't make it so he could kill us. Alright, so it was a pretty good fight, and what we learned throughout the fight was that pit is very important, once again. Pit is the most important thing in PKing in general, like at all, you know. Next to eating, and after that it's proper specking and just knowing when it's time to spec. Like, you saw the pit right there, like I see a big, big uh, whip hit, and it's my pit. And he most likely, he's gonna, he sees a 44 whip, right, so he's gonna eat. He's gonna like, oh, I need to one single eat or double eat, right, according. So if I hit a double maul, right, a G maul can hit a 46, right? If you're like in very max gear, right? But it can minimum in like this gear, hit a 40, 40, right? So we can hit 80 mauls. And we were at pretty low HP because we hit him on this vent, right? So while, so we basically, we could hit like a 40, 40. And if we axe, we could also hit like a 80 plus. So very big potential at actually like killing him at the end there, right? So that's the thing to take away for when you go DHing, just always check whose pit it is, right? Like there were like a couple of pit swaps during the fight. Um, and yeah, just keep an eye on that. Um, I think that about wraps it up for um, today's uh, PKing, PKing video uh, for this DHing guide. Um, if you guys have any questions, like please leave them down below in the comment section. Um, and other than that, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, the next video is going to be out soon. Um, I'm, I'm going to be making a no armor PKing guide. So yeah, um, like, favorite, subscribe, I guess, you know, all the generic bullshit. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, man. I hope this helped you.